This uh, desert vulture, this is the blue one we found. Sucker packs a punch, man. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Insane Series, where we play this game on Insane Difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. So, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. It will help the channel, and I do appreciate it. All right, let's get started. Uh, so, in this episode, we are going to, we have two major goals. Um, we want to, or I want to, get all the stuff repaired and sold. Uh, and we have that and this. I mean, we got like two full chests. Of course, a lot of these are engines uh, sold to the trader. So we need to do that. And then I thought what we could do is we could hit. Uh, I do have a treasure. I have Nicole's treasure map right here, which is uh, just on the highway uh, to the desert trader. So really easy, peasy place to get to. And let's see. I want to make some more, a few more grenades for Horde Knight 2. I think we have like 75 already down at the base. Uh, but I'd like to have just a little bit more than that. So... Uh, what we're going to need is springs, so let's grab, let's, we'll make another 75 nades. Uh, we need springs, we're going to need mechanical parts, which we already have, and we're going to need iron ingots. Okay, oh, and gunpowder, of course, of course, we got, so look how, how much gunpowder we got, it's just ridiculous. Redonkulous, okay, let's see if we can, why in the hell is that in there, that doesn't belong in there. Uh, let's see if we can make 75 with this much gunpowder, a little over 1,400. So, yep, we can make all 75, so half of 75 is 37-ish. Uh, so let's see, we'll do 38 in here, and then 37 in there. Yep, that was plenty of gunpowder. We'll pull this stuff back here. Uh, we have seven full stacks of 7.62s down already at the Horde base, so we're good to go on ammo because we'll use the M60, uh, which needs to be loaded, by the way, uh, for for any shooting that we do. And um, let's see, this needs to go here. And that needs to go there, too. Let's get this... Uh, this topped off, and this topped off, and this topped off. All right, so that takes care of that. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to um, make a shit ton of repair kits, get all this stuff repaired. Uh, I've got some duplicate mods here, pretty much all the clothing mods, uh, with maybe the exception of, of the banded plating. Uh, we can put on stuff. We've got a whole bunch of uh, fittings mods. You know, duplicates of that sort of thing. And so any mods, you know, that I have, that I can spare, uh, we'll put on this stuff and then um, we will take it and sell it. Now, it's 11.40 in the morning, so you know what we ought to probably do now that I think about it? Why don't we go hit the treasure first, and then I'll come back and work on this. And if I don't get it done in time, you know, then we'll just we'll just hit the traders the next day. But I would like to go get that treasure map done. So, let, yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. So... We'll get that out of the way. Yeah, and if I don't get everything repaired in time, then, you know, we, we just run down to the... to the Horde base and do the Horde, and then we'll do the selling in the next episode. If you guys did not catch the last uh, casual construction episode, we got a lot of stuff done. Uh, I have a turret set up uh, on this side and a turret set up on that side uh, to... Uh, shoot at the Zombos. Uh, the Zombos like to congregate on this wall here because this was the weakest entry point uh, into the base, and so that turret should now prevent them from doing that, but it's it's pointed at the corner so it can hit on either side. Um, this side, Zombies aren't going to really hit up here because this is all just solid all the way through, so if they did come uh, from this side, they would, you know, they would likely try and get through the... Um, uh, the the door, but I haven't ever I actually haven't ever seen them c try and come through on this side. They always come over here, and here again it's because I think they their AIs tell them this is the weakest entry point into the building. So I'm expecting most of the time, if not all of the time, the screamers and the Zeeks and whatnot to come over here. Uh, so anyway, we got that taken care of. Oh, we left a big old hole in the ground, didn't we? Damn, son. All right. Well, I'm just gonna. 
you know, we, we really need to fix this, actually. So, I'm just going to patch it in with wood, because I don't have any uh, soil on me right now. I don't want to take the time to do that. Yeah, we don't want them falling in there and then jacking up all our wiring. Okay, that fixes that for now. Let's go... We don't need that up there anymore. Let's go do that treasure map. Okay, there's a, a vending machine in here. I stopped off at the one at the high school um, to see that if we had any eye candy. We didn't. We got all that stuff, though. Let's just uh, sneak in here really quick and uh, see if uh, we can find some eye candy in there before we do the treasure. Maybe we'll even go up to the desert trader. Where the hell do I have that stuff with me um, if we can't find it in here? So let's just do this really quickly. We are hungry. Let's have sham chowder. That should take care of that. Make sure everybody's loaded. Okay. This uh, desert vulture, this is the blue one we found. Sucker packs a punch, man. Right in the neck. Yeah, it's got um, 112 damage. That's pretty good for, you know, for a semi-automatic pistol. And even better than the base damage of some magnums, uh, the higher level magnums. Okay, come on, eye candy. There we go. Look at that. Exactly what we were looking for. I'm going to grab jailbreakers and start using those since I have a finite amount of lockpicks now. Uh, let's take the green alcohol, the tuna, and the hackers. You know what? Since we're here, we might as well hit the end loot, right? I don't even know where the hell the end loot is in this place. I haven't done this POI in a long time. Let's just finish it out, though. Couple of business guys. Three business guys. Okay, let's use this for maximum quietness. And this guy. This must be like the dry cleaning room. All right. Um. Yeah. What the hell? Let's just take it. A level one desert eagle. Um. That's probably worth selling if we can throw a mod or two on it. So we'll keep that whole. Look at that. First time. Okay, let's take this. And let's put our luckies on. Let's see what we get. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so I guess what we'll do now is I'm going to go back home and get to work on repairing all that stuff for the trader. Um, but we're not, there's no way we're going to, I'm going to get it all repaired and then have time to go sell it before Horde Night. So probably what I'll just do, guys, is I'll meet you uh, at the Horde base uh, when the Horde Night starts. And we'll see how things go this time with our modifications that we made. So I will see you uh, down in that hole in just a little while. 
Okay, guys, it is uh, 10 minutes, in-game minutes until Horde Night, and I think we're ready to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and start this now. And uh, I'm not going to turn the turrets on until a little later, though, uh, when we, when I feel like we need to clear things. And the more I think about it, the more I think I might actually try that mod next time, you know, that, we, that lets us see up above. I, I'm always a little bit leery about adding mods into a, you know, a, a late game save like this, though. But I don't know. For, as long as we keep good backups, probably would be okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot to wire that up when I. Oh shit! Hold on a sec. Let's grab this. We're just gonna have to do a one of these for now. Well, can I reach the thing down there? I can. Look at that. Beautiful. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, Zombos. Go ahead and get started. Another thing I, I got to thinking about, too, is... Um, Lord, that's loud. I'm going to turn it down over here. Um, if I move around a little more, a bit more than I did before, that would potentially also encourage them to, to drop down and not, you know... Hang out, hang out up at the top there. We gotta really keep the cops under control. We don't want them blowing up. <coughs> they can damage our turrets and they steal our XP. But so let's uh, let it build up a bit. Um, and then the, once we get a, a good pile of them, we got a pretty good pile of them now. Um, let's, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to take an Atom Junkies. And may the explosions begin.
All right, guys, it is morning. And uh, we did pretty good overall. We got about two full levels in total-ish. Because uh, where my XP bar currently is is about where I started. Uh, but two levels ago. So we're just uh, finishing up the stragglers. And then we'll go up topside and see uh, what happened up there. I, I moved around a lot more. And I think that helped quite a bit. I ended up just keeping this on because... Uh, you know, I can I can actually hear when those things are firing, and they didn't seem to to be shooting too much. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, but we'll go up and you know take a look. It could just mean you know that they're keeping the zombos clear. And that is the last of our grenades, man. We did a lot of grenades tonight. Got a few pipe bombs here though. I'm just gonna keep you know running around and moving around to encourage any more zombos to uh, come on down that might still be wandering around at the mouth of the funnel there. They're still coming down. It's a big mama. Okay, it takes her out. Look at all the bags. Okay, let's do this. Let's turn this off. And we'll go down in there and see if... we can still spot any up at the top. Yeah, so they're still hanging around up there a little bit. I wonder if... I wonder why the turrets aren't shooting those guys. Hmm. I wonder... I don't know. Let's go... Let's go up there and take a look. Um... Yeah, let's go up and take a look. I think these bags will stay here for a little while. I hope they will. I hate to lose them, but... I want to see what's going on. I can say without it, You know, without a doubt that this base is not as effective as it was in Alpha 18. But that doesn't mean it's not effective. I mean, for one thing, it's it's very safe. I mean, if you want to if you want a base to keep you safe in the end game hordes, this is it. But uh, it just doesn't produce the XP like it did in Alpha 18. All right. I actually left my shovel in here this time. Come on. What in the hell? That happened last time too, didn't it? <laughs> I don't know why that happens. That is so weird. Well, if we can't kill the horde with our base, we'll kill them with our 4x4. Okay, so there's not really any damage down there, which is a good thing. This is one way to get him down in the pit. Yeah, see? Okay. So there is... There is no visible damage at all on the funnel. That and so that's a good thing. That is a really good thing. What's going on with these though? Oh, they, <laughs> they did shoot up all their ammo. Holy crap, I had that thing was full, you guys. That thing was completely full. So, alright. I, I thought I could hear them firing, but um maybe I could just hear them on occasion. So you know, I'm sure those, I'm sure these things did help a lot and probably they ran out, you know, towards the, towards the end of the horde night. And that's why the rest of these stragglers were still kind of hanging out. But as you can see, I mean, I'm sure there's some damage there, but there's no, no major damage at all. So that improvement down there made a big difference. 
I think putting these up here certainly did help. And I think, you know, just the fact that I moved around a lot more instead of stood around and, you know, stood in the same place, uh, those things together uh, improved this situation quite a bit. All right. Well, let's get back down there and get to the bags before they despawn. Um, so everything worked well. It, you know, it worked the way that I had planned for it to work. I just didn't think those turrets were firing as much as they were because, you know, I could hear them firing, but I guess I can only hear them firing on occasion and not all the time, you know? So it might be a situation where we want to go back to... Oh, shit. Do I have any eye candy? I'm almost positive I don't have any eye candy. Okay. Um... So it might be a situation where we need to go back to my first plan, and that is where I turn them off and on periodically. Um, because you know the other the other kind of downside is that we um, you know, we lost some of the XP that the from the what the turrets killed. Okay, I want to keep all the repair stuff with me, but all of this extra ammo. Can go back in here because I didn't use I didn't use my guns hardly at all just just a little bit and uh, okay all right let's go down and get to these bags looks like some of them maybe already have despawned but it's all right it's more important for me to make sure this base is working the way that I want it to than to get to all of the loot bags. We've got so much loot, you guys. It's just nuts. Um, I, I ended up, you know, getting everything repaired, but that's all the further I could get before we had to get down here. So in the next episode, that's pretty nice. Uh, we will we'll be doing a trader run. That's nice, too. Got another turret there, robotic turret. Oh, look at that. Holy crap. All right, that's the prize of the night. Is it better than our blue one, though? It is. Fan, frick, and tastic, plus we get an extra mod slot. All right, yep, that was worth the price of admission. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, we got some, some fairly significant damage right there. But um, you know, that's probably the most damage I've seen down in the pit so far. Now, uh, one of the things that a few of you have commented on is that the ramps don't work in Alpha 19, um, but they do work, not in the way that you're that you're thinking. The, what these ramps do, you guys, is the the AI constantly tries to walk up these ramps, and so what that's doing is that they're basically walking into my fences and into my turbines if they get even higher. And instead of standing down here and just trying to break through, if this was just a straight wall, then the damage would be much, much more significant than what it is. So the ramps are working. They're just working in a different way than they used to. See, they used to be to where the zombies couldn't walk up them. Um, and, you know, that would funnel them all towards the center. Now what they're doing is they're minimizing the actual damage that the zombies are doing to the structure. So they're still very useful, but here again, like I said, just in a little bit different way. This block took some fairly substantial damage there. That's the only one that really got pounded on. It's interesting that it was that one too. Hmm. So, all right, well, what I'm going to do is get stuff repaired, and then um, I'm not entirely sure where we are on time so you know what i think i'm gonna do let's just go ahead and wrap this episode up here because if we even if we did have a little more time we don't have very much and um so you know if it's a little shorter it's a little shorter but uh, we'll wrap up the episode here and then in the next let's play episode uh, we are gonna do some trader runs and make ourselves some money and hopefully we can get to that in this game day um so let me get all this repaired though and then um, I will see you guys in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.